I, um, we, need, we need help right now. It was a call for help at this intersection in Bedford that Siobhan Sherbovich never imagined she would need answered. He just said, Mom, I can't breathe. I'm stuck. That plea came from her son, Braden, on Saturday. He's right here. The eight-year-old was seated here in their Acura when he somehow became tangled in a seatbelt next to him. Connected to the ceiling, it caught around his neck, pulling him tighter as he pushed away. And before I could even process anything, he was basically hanging from the ceiling, uncon just unconscious, blue as can be. There was blood coming out from the pressure. That's when Sherbovich stopped here. All of a sudden, I hear some banging on the door. The hair salon where Elizabeth Costa was working. All I can think about is my four-year-old screaming for me. Using a pair of her scissors from an appointment, Braden was cut free and revived by his mother with CPR before being rushed to a hospital. In my 31 years of policing, I don't think I've ever heard this story. Bedford's police chief says they're now investigating what happened and urging parents to take extra precautions, like stocking their cars with safety kits that come with scissors. This could happen to anyone, and the main point is for people to be prepared. Sherbovich now hopes her son's case here prevents others in the future. I don't want another mom. I don't want another parent to ever see their kid go through that. I don't want anybody to, I don't want anybody to experience that.